their better side. It's their T side where they really struggle. What? Oh. Seeing these clips, he would not get excited to hop into aimbots and try to get this good. But we all learn quickly that it's not that easy to tap. So for the next 30 days, I tried my best <laughs> to transform my aim from this. Okay, before I do anything, I need a plan because the moment I start missing, I'm going straight back to my previous playstyle. Believe me, I tried it before and it's not looking good. good. So, to help me with this, I got an aim coach with a similar style to what I'm going for. After some discussion, we came up with a routine that focuses on three parts, starting off with smooth tracking. This one's self-explanatory, constantly do this while we're clearing angles, going around the map, but there's an emphasis on being smooth as it helps when you transition into them precise flicks. Now, this is everyone's favourite part of the game, but we all can't be Ziki, so when the flicks are a little bit off, a precise micro adjustment is here to save the day. With the fundamentals laid, there's a few techniques specific to the style. First one being to add a little bit of tracking after hitting the initial flick as it helps with them strafing targets. And in contrast, if you miss the first burst, it's better to reset and go for another flick adjustment instead of trying to track the target's movements. And to work on these, I'll be using aimbots to drill specific techniques. For example, this exercise where I track an invisible pixel on the floor and then I flick to the head to work on my track to flick skills. And for this one, I flick to track. And most of my time on free forward deathmatch to apply these techniques. And for aim labs, I'll be using this playlist only when I'm done playing for the day to isolate the fundamentals. Please don't use this before, it's gonna mess up with your aim. And enough yapping from me, it's time to begin the challenge. I'm not gonna lie, the first week was terrible. <laughs> it was straight ass. Oh my god, like, I don't even know. I was missing everything. I was thinking too much about my aim, so I'll spray and then I'll try tap after, then I'll tap and then I'll try spray, like even though you could do that shit. And then also another one is I'll start bomb fragging and then I'll be like, nah, I can't bomb frag. So I'll go right back to my old playstyle. And then the thing is it worked too. So I just kept doing it and it just delayed this even more. Like it's crazy how much that held me back. Like I'll go back to my style and I'm like, oh shit, I'm supposed to be one tapping for 30 days. <laughs> And then I'll try one tap, but since I've been spraying too much, I'm not gonna lie, even the montages did not work. I watched the montage, I'm like, yeah, 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 this time I can hit the shots. I go into the game, oh, no. <laughs> ain't shit changed. <laughs> At this point in time, I'm thinking the challenge is done. Like, 30 days, what? I need to scrap this shit. It's time to switch to Valorant. But. The pistol saved me. I don't know what it was, but my pistol aim was so much better. It felt insane. Especially with the Deagle, I was hitting flicks. I was peeking everyone. I was hella confident with it. The shots were connecting. It was on point. And it was all thanks to this one scenario too. Like exactly how I was aiming in aimbots with this technique was exactly how I was aiming in game. And it gave me a little bit of hope that we could keep going. So before week 2 starts, I have to take a step back and see why I'm hitting shots with the pistols and my rifles are still ass. Cause this means that the routine's working, I'm seeing improvements on the pistols but on the rifles. <laughs> it feels like there's no And after looking at some gameplay, I see a few reasons why this could be. With my previous style, I was a lot more careless with my first bullet accuracy since I could just go into a spray down if I missed the first shot. But now with this style, after missing, I don't have the option to spray, so I go into full panic, which causes my readjustments to be stiff. 
rather than smooth. It's exactly what we talked about at the beginning of the video, but in-game is a lot more different than talking. And with the pistol, since you're locked into one bullet, you're pretty much forced to tap, and over time you just get used to being smooth with your readjustments, with your, even your first bullet accuracy. So to help transfer this to my rifles, I went into DM and focused on enemies' peaks, training myself to be more relaxed when they peak me, and getting used to their movement in general also noticed I was doing way too much with my movement so I had to simplify it and make it work for me instead of spamming AD AD making it harder for me to do adjustments and adding delay to them and for the matches I had to keep reminding myself I'm here to tap not to win right now the winning will come with the tap so it's okay if I bought frag a few games I'm sorry to everyone who queued with me but you're gonna have to hold that one still it will be an understatement to say working on these did not help me coming into week three it finally clicked I actually felt enlightened and my enemies definitely felt that too because I was cooking. Ho, ho. Even though there's a lot to work on, it's a fat improvement from the first two weeks. I don't think 30 days is enough to reach this level, but we all expected it at this point. There's so many little things I have to improve on, and overall you just have to keep drilling it over time. There's hundreds of videos of Screams DM, Ares DM, they just kept drilling it. So I'm going to keep this up and we'll see in the coming months.